Music just changed forever, and the music industry is panicking because of this AI tool. Udo AI has been released and is generating music that would take musicians hours and hours to produce in mere seconds. Literally seconds. Watch this. You simply enter a prompt and let it do its magic. Pretty crazy, right? What's even more crazy is that you've been listening to a fully AI generated song in the background of this video and you didn't even know it. Here's another example of the kind of music it makes. Keep in mind the voice is AI, the instrumentation is AI, and the pacing is AI. This is all fake or generated. Started in mansions, oh so grand. Never knew. It can make any genre from folk to dubstep to hip hop, and it's evolving every day. Although Udio won't admit it, the music produced by the platform was trained on copyright mainstream music and produces similar music, which means it follows a proven path and creates proven results. There has already been an uproar by mainstream musicians like Billie Eilish and Stevie Wonder saying that Udio has learned how to create songs by using their work and is therefore copyright. However, does this argument hold any merit? Who's to say Billie Eilish didn't learn how to make music or adopt a similar style as, say, Madonna, hypothetically? Therefore, is Billie Eilish creating copyright work because she took influence or inspiration from elsewhere? She had to learn how to create quality music from somewhere, and AI is doing the same thing. However, that is not stopping musicians from trying to copyright Udio. As you can see, mainstream musicians are already freaking out trying to shut it down. Interestingly though, Will I Am, the musician from the Black Eyed Peas, is one of the main investors in the technology that may replace the very job that brought him the ability to even invest in anything at all. Imagine if Will I Am was raised in the time of AI music. There may not have been a Will I Am or even a Black Eyed Peas at all. In many people's eyes, he is trying to create an AI that will take away the opportunity he once enjoyed. Some may deem this selfish, however, the argument is that AI is coming no matter what, so he may as well be the one who benefits from its inception into the music industry. Since he was successful, he has the luxury to not care about what happens with the industry in the future. Who really knows what an AI music future looks like? It's ironic that musicians are the ones creating the technology that so many musicians are mad about. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, but he isn't the only one. Another musician investing in Udio is Tay Keith. Hey Keith fuck these up. The massive hip hop producer who has made many hit songs with top hip hop artists. They are developing Udio with ex Google AI engineers who created Google DeepMind. These developers have state of the art experience and are working to create a boogeyman in the music industry. This collaboration has brought forth a titan in the AI music industry that may replace many, and I mean many, entertainment jobs in the future. Who's to say the last hip-hop song you listened to was even produced? It may have been generated. This tool revolutionized the music industry and made creativity even more accessible. On this channel, I use Udio all the time to generate copyright-free music to match the tonality of the videos we make. This may poke a large hole in the market as well for companies like Epidemic Sound in the future who offer copyright-free music for a premium price. Why pay to use when you can generate for free? Udio will touch every corner and aspect of the global music market and make a lasting impact, and this is just the start. Mainstream music in the future may become fully generated and lead to a direct decline in jobs for society. We have a short story of what that very future may look like. In the heart of Metropolis where skyscrapers kissed the clouds and neon lights never dimmed, there lived a struggling music producer named Alex Reed, known by his stage name, Elevated. Alex had dreams as grand as the city but was stuck in the underground scene, playing in obscure clubs and releasing tracks that barely made a ripple. Everything changed when Alex discovered Udio, an AI music generation tool. Intrigued, he downloaded it and began to experiment. The AI produced melodies and beats unlike anything he had ever heard. Alex's first track on Udio, named Neon Dream was an instant hit, propelling him from obscurity to the forefront of the electronic music scene. Critics lauded his innovation, fans clamored for more, and record labels showered him with lucrative contracts. The rise of Elevated was meteoric. He performed at major festivals, collaborated with top artists, and won prestigious music awards. But amidst the flashing lights and roaring crowds, a nagging doubt gnawed at Alex's subconscious. He knew the success wasn't entirely his. Udio was the true mastermind. Yet intoxicated by fame, he silenced his doubts and continued. One night during a high-profile interview, the host asked Alex about his creative process. They wanted him to cook up a beat live. Cornered, Alex gave a vague answer. 
Sharp-eyed listeners noticed inconsistencies and dug deeper. Rumors swirled on social media and soon, tech-savvy fans discovered Udio's involvement. The revelation hit the music world like a thunderclap. Fans felt betrayed and fellow artists were outraged. The music community, which had celebrated Alex as a pioneer, now branded him a fraud. Alex's record label dropped him and his peers shunned him. He tried to justify his actions, but his words fell on deaf ears. The once celebrated musician was now a pariah. The venues that once clamored to book him now shut their doors. As the neon lights of the metropolis flickered in the distance, Alex found himself back where he started in a small, dimly lit room filled with old synthesizers and vinyl records. The irony was not lost on him. The city that had witnessed his rise now watched his fall with indifference. Reflecting on his journey, Alex realized true artistry came from the heart and the soul, not from the machine. The story of Elevated became a cautionary tale reminding the music industry that while technology can enhance creativity, it cannot replace the authenticity and passion that true art requires. In this rapidly advancing world of AI replacing jobs, I believe the music industry is probably fine. I think that a lot of background music and just filler listening music will definitely be AI generated. However, huge stars will continue to stay in the music industry because people going to concerts would rather see a live performance than a simple DJ click. I mean, what would you rather do? Would you rather see a live artist that has some form of talent but may not create perfect music? Or would you rather see AI generated music with no real talent involved? Is machine perfect pitch singing the end goal? Or is the flaws and the mastery of those flaws what makes music so enticing? There's also a human element to music that allows you to empathize and connect with your favorite artists. Mainstream artists are typically a brand by themselves because people relate to or love them for who they truly are. With faceless music, this ability to connect to the musician is essentially gone. The main people impacted by this is stock music creators, sound creators, and maybe some EDM type music that is already pretty faceless. Imagine going to see a DJ only to be met with a robot dropping the most insane beats never cooked up by a human. It will greatly impact the film industry music composers because instead of films waiting on music to be created, they can generate perfect orchestra music that matches their needs in a simple click. Not only can they generate it in a simple click, however, it is also much more economically viable. It will cost much less than hiring a professional orchestra to play the music they need. Therefore, it's essentially a no-brainer when doing creative content. I mean, think about it, it's going to be uncopyrighted, be much cheaper, much faster. There's really not much downside other than you're not supporting local business. At this point, real music does sound better, but this is simply the start of the technology. In a year, you probably won't be able to tell the difference. This isn't to scare anyone, however, it's good to keep an open mind on what the future may have in store for us. Speaking of which, we have a video about the AI arms race of US versus China with OpenAI Sora vs Kling AI for the battle for dominance in the videography side of AI. Thank you for watching, and remember, keep your mind strong and your curiosity stronger. Till next time.